hello guys welcome back to coding cafe my name is Mohammed Ali and in this video we are going to add the searching feature in which uh, we will allow a user to search for different products in this app so yeah let's go to the Android studio and here let's close this now we need to add another activity new activity and empty activity and name of this activity we can say search products search products activity click finish so you can see our new product uh, search product activity is created successfully let's go to the xml file and we can just direct i mean quickly design this okay so change this constant layout to the uh, relative layout and we need to add the let's go to the admin new orders activity from i mean to its xml file from there we need to copy this thing which is this relative layout just copy it let's go back and paste that here and now the next thing is here we need to add edit text instead of this so you can say edit first of all change the id of this relative layout to r5 or any random name you can give it to it and we can say edit text match parent trip content and hint we can give that is product name and text color hint will be android white which you can see like that now the next thing is we need a button also but before we do that we need to add here i mean give it some id and the id for this will be search product underscore name search product name which you will get from here and after that i mean we need a button so let's add a button to it also so button and it will be rep content rep content and we can say to write off and pass this id to it but so here we need to change the width of this search for its name to 260 dp and here our about i mean this relative layout we can say center horizontal to true let's change this to 290 okay and now let's give some text to our this search button so we can say search text color must be white text style text size 16 and the text style bold also let's copy paste this here and sorry 18 dp and also if you want we can add a background for this button color primary dark also we can add background to our this edit text so we can add it the white color and also add padding so 10 dp will be good or let's say 9 will be good and this is our button so padding 9 dp so yeah i mean uh, it looks good now and here we can say margin right sorry not margin right we need to add margin from the start so 5 dp from the start center in vertical true and the text color now we need to change because we have added the so here we can say color primary dark instead of this 
okay now you can see this now it's look cool and yeah everything is okay and change this to 70 dp or 60 and also for this button you can say center in parent to true after this uh, relative layout we need a circular recycler view match parent rep content but the height will be also match parent by the way and let's give id to it so the id for this we can say search underscore list search list this must be below the we can say layout below id and pass this r5 id to it so you can see this and now let's go to our search product activity and here we can say private we have a button we can say search utn we have an edit text we can give it name as input text then we have the recycler view which we can give it the name search list now in here on our own create we can say input text equals to find view by id or dot id dot search product name and then we have search button search button equals to find view by id or dot id search we need to check the okay we have to give id to our this button so we can say search underscore btn search btn okay and let's copy it past that here now we have a recycler view so you can say recycler sorry it is by the name search list equals to find view by id or dot id dot and the id of this is search list search list dot set layout manager new linear layout manager search product activity dot this and before we proceed uh, let's go to the home activity and here come down here we have this nav let's first come to the menu and we have this activity home dryer and we have this nav orders nav categories so instead of this uh, orders title we can change this to search because we are not using the orders i mean we are not displaying the one order to the user okay we are already uh, uh, showing that information here in the cart if a user has only uh, any order in the database so you can change this to search and also if you want you can change the icon of it you can download any material icon for the search and replace the icon name here instead with this orders and also let's change this nav orders to nav search and then copy this id and let's come back to the home activity and here we have this nav order so change it with the nav search and let's copy paste this intent and when a user click on it we are going to send the user to the search product activity so yeah that's it now let's test the app that how our this product this activity looks so we are logged in successfully let's come here click on this search button and unfortunately app stops and we have to check what is going on here so here it says that android support edit text cast to ray material edit text for that we need to go to the pro uh, activity search product.xml file and here we need to see so for that go to the search product.xml file and here you can see we have this edit text all you're gonna need is to change this edit text 
okay this com dot ray dot material if it is working in your case uh, maybe in your case it uh, does not show you an error i mean maybe your app do not stop but here if it is then you can simply change this to com dot ray material widget edit text okay if you change it to this one and then if you run the app let's say i'm going to run it so you can see the app is running now successfully and ho hopefully this time we will get no error logged in let's come here you can see search button click on that and here we go you can see this i mean it is working fine so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video a user will simply type any product name here and when we click on this search button then we will retrieve all the products whose name will be similar to that name i mean we will add this searching for product uh, feature in the next video tutorial so yeah see you guys in the next video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video don't forget to follow me on my twitter and instagram account by this username Bye for now.